Hello and welcome to another Stamp with Amy K Facebook Live. And um, today I have something that's like extra fun to show you. Um, yay, that's all I can say. <laughs> Over the weekend, Stampin' Up! had their um, onstage event for demonstrators. It was on stage at home since we couldn't get together in person. And um, they launched the new catalog for demonstrators uh, that were at the event and allowed us to pre-order from a select list. Now, this clearly is not everything that, <laughs> that is out on in the catalog, um, but they allowed us to order a handful of things ahead of time. So I'm going to show you all the cool stuff that I just got. So hey, Christy and Danette, I'm glad that you're here and thanks for hopping in. I see a few more people are coming in as well. So I appreciate y'all being here and checking this out. Like I said, there's a lot of really good stuff. And before anyone asks, yes, I can have this order this early because, yes, I did pay a ridiculous amount of money to have it overnighted to me. So it is here, and I'm going to show you because it's awesome and it's fun, and I hope that you enjoy seeing it. So, um, hey, Jan, I appreciate you being here, and uh, Rosie and Bree, thanks for hopping in today. So we will, uh, yeah, we'll take a look. So these are the catalog covers. So this is the Celebration catalog cover. A brochure cover, I guess I should say. I can't like open it up and show you the inside of it, but I can show you the cover and you can kind of take a minute to look at it and see some of the, you know, little peeks at some of the things that are coming. And then we have the mini catalog as well. And I do want to point out down here, uh, there's some little gold gilding, I think is what this is called, but it's kind of a gold foiling pieces. So be sure to keep an eye out for that because, um, yep, I'm sure that is going to be making its way around and everybody's going to be looking at, hey, Judy and Cindy and Julie. So, oh, well, at least I'm not the only one who did the overnighting because, uh, you know, like I said, I always get tons of questions. How'd you get your stuff so early? And <laughs> so that's it. You got to pay the pay for the overnighting and then you're all good. So, all right. So this is a cover of the new mini catalog. And again, this is January to June, 2021. Um, ordering opens for customers from this catalog on um, January 5th. So um, for demonstrators, we can start pre-ordering from it on December 1st, if you're wondering if you're a demonstrator. So if you didn't attend the event, um, you are allowed to pre-order from the new catalog and start earning those celebration goodies starting on December 1st. So Y'all ready to start seeing some good stuff? <laughs> so, hey, Krista. I'm glad that you're here as well. So, we have the Garden Wishes stamp set bundle, which is part of the Dandy Garden Suite. Um, I'm sure that you all have seen the uh, Dragonfly Garden bundle and the, what's the name? Dandy Garden 6x6 designer paper and the Mossy Meadow trim and the little ladybugs. Everybody's been using them. So, um, those were items that people that attended the onstage event could pre-order early for our make and takes. And um, so this is like, this is a part of the whole suite. It's a huge suite of products. It's got two bundles in it, um, some specialty paper, some memories of more card packs, um, card bases, the little ladybugs, the trim, and the designer paper. So it's a whole huge suite of products. So um, this is the other half of the bundles. So this is the Garden Wishes stamp set, and it is red rubber. And um, it's got some good, you know, some pretty sentiments. Again, similar font to the um, Dragonfly Garden stamp set. Uh, again, I'm sure you all have seen that. Hey, Marilyn, glad that you are here. I'm um, glad that you're excited to see all the goodies, because I may have bought everything that I could. Oops. <laughs> It happens sometimes. So, all right. So this is the Garden Wishes stamp set. Um, very, very pretty images. Love the dandelions. It's going to be fun to, you know, stamp in a boss or stamp as a background or stamp in color. So lots of good things we can do with this one. Uh, hey, Christy, glad you're here as well. And then it's got dyes that coordinate with it. So there's a dye, dye image that coordinates with this, dye that coordinates with this, um, a dye that coordinates with a little bee. And then I don't know if you can see this very well, but it's like a stitched little trail for the bee. So you can emboss that into the background if you don't want to stamp it. Um, what else? There are some kind of layering dies here for this flower, which is not something that you can stamp. It's just a die cut flower and the layering pieces for it. Um, they've got some of the cut and embossed kind of dandelion leaves, I guess these are. Uh, greens, whatever they call those things. And then there is this, which... Uh, again, I'll just call it a floral image because I don't know exactly what they are. So, <laughs> hey, Jillian, glad you're here and glad that you're liking this stuff too. It is, it's a great set. I mean, this was actually probably the first thing on my list when I went to order everything um, because I really like it. I love the dyes that go with it. So definitely a good stamp set bundle. 
Hey, Jalene, glad that you're here as well and glad that you're liking the sneak peeks. Um, we have a Memories and More card pack that um, coordinates with the suite, and it is the Dandy Garden Memories and More card pack. Um, it doesn't say the colors in here, but the... Ooh, uh, Gosh, I guess it doesn't say the colors on the, the sheet that I've got in front of me. Um, but I know it's the same ones that are in the designer series paper. And it's Mossy Meadow, Bumblebee, um, uh, Misty Moonlight, uh, Whisper White. Um, so anyhow, so I know there are other colors in it too. As I get to them, hopefully I can remember which ones they are. But some good uh, card pack cards, some good sentiments and things in here. Um, oh, that's some things are meant to be. That's really cute. And... Um, I think this is Calypso Coral in the background of this one, if I remember correctly. Um, so some good cards. Hey, Catherine, glad you're here. And you ordered your goodies too. So good, good. And Kathy, glad you're here as well. So thanks for hopping in. Um, and Blackberry Bliss is one of the colors in the, the um, paper as well. And then the backsides, which are a little more, I think they usually tend to have less, less words and more um, kind of images on these. Oops, I guess that one's got words on it. Um, together is my favorite place to be and it's spelled with the B-E-E -E, so that's cute um, so again oh so very grateful so that's a nice one I guess I'm wrong apparently they kind of switched it around so thinking of you um, again just some pretty floral images and then we've got the bigger cards in it as well the four by six cards so there are some of those um, got some sentiments you are loved on the back and then some stickers as well in it so those are always nice and fun and easy to use hey Verna glad you're here as well and then we've got um, some sentiment stickers, which are good. Um, again, these are all stickers on this page. Um, some additional, uh, the larger cards. So some good things here. Back side of those. Weekend getaway. Oh, oh, those are pretty. I love that image. And then um, just some, again, some journaling cards and that sort of thing. So depending on what you want to do with them, um, you can turn them into cards or you can use them in your memory keeping um, stuff. So, in addition to that, there is also a pack of the Dandy Garden Memories and More cards and envelopes. So, yay, and we always love the pre-printed card bases. So, there are a set of um, card bases that have the dandelion images on the back of it, and then the envelopes are all printed as well. Hey, Amy, glad you're here. The colors are really pretty in that paper pack, and uh, the Memories and More card pack as well. Um, it's got printed on the inside the liner of the envelope as well. Um, nothing on the inside of the card base, but it's a pack of 20 cards and envelopes. So, um, and again, I, I don't believe that they're, I think they all go the same direction. So it's looking like they, they do. I don't think there are any that are switched. I should have pulled more of them out, but ugh, it looks like they're all the same. They all go the same direction. So they're all the kind of up and down cards. So... All right, so we have that in the same suite. And then again, I'm sure you've seen the little ladybugs in the, the um, designer paper and the, the mossy meadow trim that's in it, but they also have dandy laser cut paper. And this stuff is so pretty. <laughs> so hopefully I can show it to you without, and it'll show up in here. I'm not sure, it's probably easier to look at it um, individually on the, the paper here. So again, these are all, die cut images all set up for you all you have to do is pop out this 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 they're all pieces that can go on a card front um then some kind of little accent pieces as well hey kelly sue glad you're here as well so that is the first one and then this is the other one so this one's got kind of a wider uh, rectangle here um some things for sentiments uh, little layering pieces these dragonflies are absolutely beautiful again die cut um, laser cut, so all you have to do is pop them out and stick them on your card. Um, you can stamp on these, you can sponge these, you can um, ink them however it is that you want to, you can leave them plain if you want to, um, so you can kind of do lots of different things with it. I just want to flip it over. Yep, the back side is white as well, so um, so it's not one of them. Some of these, sometimes I'll do them with gold foiling and things, but they're white on both sides of this one. All right, so let me go ahead and slide this aside and grab the next suite of products. And I think I will do this one first. Too many good things. So this one is the Fine Art Floral Collection. So we have got the Art Gallery Stamp Set, which has got, again, it's designed for the, the um, two-step stamping and layering on it. Um, some good sentiments with it as well. Uh, the laser cut pieces are white, Christy, so. Um, yeah, they're all white, so you can sponge them or do whatever you want, stamp on them in any way that you would like. So 
Um, didn't see anything about the mini die cut machine. When will that be available? Kelly, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> we don't have any, we don't know when it's going to be. We're hoping it will be sometime soon. Um, but yep, we don't have any date on it. Um, like I said, we're just holding, you know, I know that Stampin' Up! is working on it and they want to get it to us, but yeah, I don't know when it's going to be, hopefully soon. So, um, all right, so the art gallery is, again, it's one of those that's designed for two-step stamping. Um, the images on the front cover are a little bit smaller than the actual stamp set, and it, it's photopolymer again because it's designed for the two-step stamping, so we've got that. Um, let's take a look at that. And then there are the coordinating dies that go with it. And these are the floral gallery dies. So this one die cuts obviously this image. This one die cuts the flower. This one will die cut the little layering flower. Die cuts the stem. And then we have these that will... You're welcome, Kelly, so no problem. Like I said, I, as soon as we know anything, I will definitely post it and share it, but I'm just, <laughs> I have no idea when it will be. I'm hoping it will be soon. So um, then we've got the um, die cuts that will go around, fit around your sentiments. And then here's uh, just wanted to say, which I know, I don't know if you can read it backwards. It's big enough, hopefully you can, but that's what that says. So it's just wanted to say, and then there's happy birthday, congratulations, good luck. Um, sorry, thank you, best wishes. So again, it's a nice, nice variety and a good stamp set bundle. Um, so also in that product suite, there's the painted texture 3D embossing folder. And it looks like one of those like canvas backgrounds where they've taken the paint and like used a, I don't even know what the word is for it. It's like a, a paint knife and basically scooped it on and kind of maneuvered it around on the background. So that is what it looks like. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see, uh, it, you know, without having an embossed piece on it, but this is the embossing folder, and it is one of the 3D embossing folders, so it's a little thicker and will give you a little bit um, more distinctive an image, so uh, definitely going to be fun to play with that one. So again, that's part of the um, Fine Art Floral uh, set of products. There's also some pretty ribbon. This is the Fine Art Ribbon, and um, I'm going to hold it up here to the screen so hopefully you can see it and I'll try to hold it still because I know it takes the camera a second sometimes to focus on it. So, hey Kay, glad that you're here. Trowel, you're at, yes. I knew there was a term for it. See, I get talking and then I'm like, I don't know, I can't remember. I know there's some name for it. <laughs> so you're right, Jillian. So um, the ribbon has got a little bit of gold uh, metallic to it. So hopefully you can see that. And it's kind of a natural woven background is how I would describe it. Um, it's a nice soft ribbon, so I think it's going to tie nice bows. So um, so not one of the crispy ribbons that's a little bit harder to, to work with. This one seems like it's going to be really easy, easy to use and very pretty. And then we have some designer series paper, which of course I can't get the pack to lift up and come over with me. Um, so this is the Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper, and the colors in it are Bumblebee, Flirty Flamingo, Mary Merlot, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, Old Olive, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Poppy Parade, Pumpkin Pie, So Saffron, Terracotta Tile, and Whisper White. So that's like half the colors in <laughs> the color families, I think. So, all right, so let's get started so you can take a peek at these. Um, I think I'm just going to show you the whole paper. That's probably easiest. Um, since they're big and it's got kind of bigger designs on it. So this is one of the designs. On the back side, they're a little bit more muted and sort of that paint, paint look to it. Um, this is another design, which this is probably my favorite sheet out of the whole thing. And I don't know, I love the gray background on it. So it's, it's very, very pretty, I think. So, and then the back side is um, shades of blue. Again, just sort of that painted canvas look. And Stampin' Up! did tell us that an artist actually painted these and they photographed them. So that it is for real like a, a painted project. So it, it's very pretty. So I love this one as well. Um, so the beautiful dark blue background on it. Hey, Barbara, glad that you're here. So um, and then this one's got kind of the pool party painted look on the back of it. And then we have this one, which is, gosh, probably Flirty Flamingo would be my guess. And uh, maybe a little bit of... Probably, I don't know, maybe Mary Merlot, I guess, would be the darker one in there. So, um, so anyway, that's my guess as to which colors are in this one. And then the back side is sort of a painted look. It almost looks like a um, stencil that they've, they've painted over the top of. So it's beautiful, Krista. You're going to love this paper. The whole suite is fantastic. So, all right, so this is the back side. And then we have this one that's got the pretty floral images as well on it. And... 
The back side is um, kind of a lighter pale pink. Again, sort of almost has that like stenciled type look to it. It is the most gorgeous designer paper, Catherine. You are so right. So this is the final piece of paper. And I guess I forgot to say this is 12 by 12, which hopefully you can tell that just by how big it is on the screen, but it's 12 by 12 paper. And it's the standard pack that they have where it's the two sheets of each design um, and each is 12 by 12. So, all right. And then the back side of that looks like the terracotta tile that they've done. Again, just kind of that painted image. So yes, it's gonna be fantastic for scrapbooking and for cards. So lots and lots of pretty things. And there's even one more cool thing that I'm going to show you about this. So the suite also includes what they call the Golden Garden Designer Series Paper. It's a specialty designer series paper, I should say. It's an acetate, and it's got gold foiling on it. If you flip it over on the other side, it's silver. So you can use it either side up if you like gold, um, which the gold coordinates with the ribbon and everything in it, but the silver is also very pretty. So if you prefer the silver side, you can definitely use that. Um, so either side works. Um, one thing to know about this, it does have a little um, film that they've put over the back as a protective backing on it. So you do need to peel that off, which of course I'm probably not gonna be able to do here on camera because my fingers will fumble around, but there is like a protective layer on it. So make sure you peel that off before you stick it down to your project. Hey Pam, thanks for hopping in. So it's beautiful. So um, I think this is the one, yes. So there's, there's this piece of paper, or the acetate, which has again got the gold foiling on it and then silver on the back. And then they have created it so that it actually overlays over the designer series paper page in the designer paper pack. So it coordinates together. So you can take this and if you want to make it into card fronts, you can chop it up into four inches by, you know, five and a quarter or whatever the size is in your, you know, whatever your standard size for your card front is. So you can definitely cut this up for that. Um, or you can use them individually, but I just love that they coordinate together and you can overlay them and add a sentiment and the card is done. So it's absolutely beautiful. And then this is the final piece of paper in there. It's again, the Golden Garden Designer Acetate Paper or Designer Specialty Acetate Paper. So <laughs> it's got lots of words in it, um, but this is the, the final sheet on it. And again, it's silver on the back side. Um, so if you prefer the silver side to the gold side, you can use either one. All right, next up we have, cause we did the ladies suites, you know, the pretty things and the floral things. The next one we have is a masculine suite, which is awesome because a lot of times at least I struggle with the masculine cards so I love that we're going to have a whole suite of products just for the gentlemen in our lives so this is the well suited suite of products so it's got the handsomely suited um, stamp set in it which has got some cool ties in it some good sentiments for um Yep, they do have protective covering. You're definitely correct, Jennifer. Yes, and if I didn't have such fat fingers, I would have tried to peel it off, but I, could, <laughs> I couldn't get it to start peeling. I know it's got a protective covering, but I just couldn't get it to come off here on camera. So, yep, you're right. Make sure you peel it off the backing, and it's on the silver side of the, the paper. So, all right, so we've got the handsomely suited um, stamp set, which, again, is one of the red rubber stamps, and it's got an awesome coordinating set of dies, and I will try to find some of the images. One of the Stampin' Up! Uh, demonstrators made a whole pile of cards with this and they were it's a really 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 cool set of dies I mean it's got the tie in here and then this looks like a suit jacket and then there's a V that you can cut and make it into like the dress shirt um, there's a pocket there are little buttons you can die cut the bow ties and this obviously cuts the dot the um uh, ties. I wanted to call them dies and I knew that wasn't right. Um, so this is like the, the dress shirt and then here's the dress shirt collar. So that's a very cool set of dies here. Um, this is part of the a tie. If you wanted to cut the top of the tie in a solid color or whatever, you can cut it in as a separate piece. Uh, what else? Oh, suspenders. So there, this is a, a suspender, like the buckle part of the suspender. And then you can add these on as suspenders as well. So if you wanted to do a suspender and tie card. So 
It, yeah, the video was fantastic. And like I said, I will try to find some of the projects and share them because they were just over the top amazing projects. So, yep, and her cards definitely convinced me to get it as well. I was a little on the fence about it, but yeah, she's, she, um, she did an awesome job presenting it. The other thing that she did was she actually turned this into a doctor's coat. So if you have, uh, or a nurse's like jacket. So if you have people who are in the medical profession in your family or in your group of friends that you like to make cards for, um, you can actually use this and make cards for them. So it's going to be, it's very cool. It's a great set of dies, great stamp set. Um, definitely something that everybody should get. So um, there is the well-suited twine combo pack and I should have looked at the colors on this. I'm pretty sure it's Knight of Navy and um, Basic Gray. Yep, Knight of Navy and Basic Gray are the two colors in this. And again, it's that thinner twine, which I actually like. I much prefer this to the to the thick twine that we've sometimes had. Um, the thinner stuff ties a lot easier, so this coordinates with the products as well. And then also in that suite is a pack of designer series paper. And this is the well-suited designer series paper. It's got basic black, basic gray, Cajun craze, Knight of Navy, Pacific Point, Poppy Parade, and Smoky Slate as the colors in it. So, she, yeah, she did do the, the wedding couple that she did, and it was amazing. So, like I said, I, I will try to find them and share them, but they're really, really, really good cards. So, all right, so we've got, um, this is obviously Knight of Navy in white. Uh, the back side of it has Paisley, which I know there are a lot of Paisley fans out there. So I think this one could be easily turned into a um, card for a female as well. So I think it could go, you know, either masculine or feminine on this one. Um, then we have this one, which is like a pinstriped look. Um, and it's designed, let me grab the dies here. When she used it on the card, she basically used it and cut the, cut like the suit jacket from the pinstripe and it was awesome so it's it's very very cool paper on the back side it's got the black blues and grays and stripes so just a pin or a um, diagonal stripe on the back uh, this one has polka dots all over it so again a very cool um, i think this would make some really cool dress shirts so if you wanted to cut the the shirt and tie look out of it i think this one would be cool for that or a good tie too and then, of course, we have to have some floral because a lot of gentlemen I know wear um, floral ties. So this one <laughs> would be good for that. And also good for, you know, making a card for the ladies, too. So got that. Um, this one is just a, you know, kind of plain old check background, which, again, I think would make a cool shirt. So this is, I think that is, I think it's basic gray, it looks like to me in here. Yep, definitely lots of great ties. Um, and then this one's got the Cajun Craze and Knight of Navy on it on the opposite side. And it's a little bit kind of, um, I'll hold it up for a second and hopefully the camera can focus on it. But it's it's almost like a houndstooth look in the background, but not quite, I don't know, diamondy look. So, all right. And then this one will also make some cool jackets. So this one looks just like, to me, like your standard issue kind of winter um, suit jacket type thing. So that one's going to be very cool to use. And then we got some plaids here as well, which we always need plaids no matter what. And then here's another one that's sort of a plaid look to it. And then the back side has just got your um, diagonal stripes on it. It's Cajun Craze and Knight of Navy and Whisper White in this one. So that is all for the well-suited suite of products. Um, next up, there are just sort of some individual items or individual bundles um, that we were able to order as well. So we have a new one called Many Messages, and it's got some really good sentiments. I'm going to hold it here for a second so you can kind of take a peek and hopefully see uh, most of the sentiments in here. So definitely an awesome set of sentiments. And then it comes with a coordinating die. So this is actually one big stamp. I guess that's one thing. It's a, essentially a background stamp. So it's, you can stamp all these sentiments all at one time, and then take your die. Oop, I should have peeled it off the cardboard earlier. Then take your die and put it over the top of your stamped sentiments. And then run it through your die cutting machine. And then you've got all these sentiments cut out and ready to go. So they coordinate really well together. So very awesome. And I love that. Oops, of course I got tape stuck on it. Sorry. <laughs> I'll have to pick that off. Um, but it coordinates and um, we'll cut all of these out all at once. You can also obviously stamp like smaller um, images if you want to just stamp this one and die cut this one, you can put it on a smaller piece of paper and die cut just that one as well. But it is nice that if you wanted to do a whole bunch of sentiments, so you've always got them, you know, sort of 
have one that you can grab out of the, your basket of random sentiments, you know, need something for a card. Um, so this one will be a really cool set for that. All right. It is really cool, Catherine. So it's, you know, it's just something that, um, I feel like we had one that was similar at some point. I can't remember. Um, but I love that this one cuts out tons and tons of sentiments. And they're good kind of general sentiments too. So um, nothing really, you know, like too specific. So just ones you can always use in a card, I guess. Next up, we have the Simply Succulent Stamp Set Bundle, which this has got some pretty um, succulent images, floral images in it, and the little pot that goes with it, and then some good sentiments in it. Um, again, it's a red rubber stamp set. And then it has an awesome set of dies that coordinate. So this die will cut out the larger floral image. This one cuts out the smaller, and this one cuts out the smallest floral image. And then this one cuts out the little... Um, uh, flower pot and then there are some here that coordinate with your sentiments which is awesome too and um, there are a couple of these that are just the I guess they here are more sentiment dies too and I love that they're stitched so awesome awesome um, and then there are some uh, dies that just cut kind of accessory pieces um, and I can't remember I think Shannon whoever presented it said they thought this was grass <laughs> And they were corrected. It's not grass. Apparently, it's some sort of a succulent thing. And I don't even remember what it was. I just know that she was corrected on as well. So, and then uh, this one is actually a larger sort of background die cut. And again, it's one of those where it's, you know, it's going to cut out the center. So if you have a larger piece of paper, um, as you can see, it's not cutting all the way along the edges. So you'll be able to cut out the center of whatever and then overlay it on a solid piece of cardstock aloe. Yes, see, <laughs> these are things that I should know and remember. But I get on live and I start talking and then I've forgotten already what it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, so this is the Simply Succulents Stamp Set Bundle, which is another good one. And again, I love that they're giving us lots of dies for sentiments, which is, you know, very cool. And they'll fit, I'm sure, plenty of other sentiments, not just the ones in this stamp set. All right, the next one we have is the um, Floating and Fluttering stamp set. So it's butterflies, and it's got a really cool frame. And then the butterfly images, and then all the pieces that, to stamp inside the butterfly images and your greenery images as well. And then there are dies that coordinate with it. So this one will cut the framing out. I feel like I said, hold on, let me see if it cuts around the edge. So yep, it'll cut right around the edge of the, the frame, which is nice. And then we've got the dies that will cut out. Um, so this is one image. I don't know which way it's easier to see. So this is one entire stamp. And then they have a die that basically overlays over the top of it and will cut out all of the images at once. So that's a very cool thing. Um, there are actually two of those in here. And then we've got this butterfly you can cut out individually. This butterfly you can cut out individually. This one you can cut out individually. And then these two, I believe these two are the ones that will cut out. Um, maybe it's this one and this one are the two that it will cut out individually for your greenery images. Um, and I already showed you the, the one that cuts out the framing. So that's definitely another really good stamp set bundle. And then we have one here that's just a cut and emboss butterfly. So that's, it's, it's very pretty so i yep i agree vicky it's a good one so and karen yep you're gonna love it i know you are so all right next up uh, let's do the project kit first so we have got the you are amazing project kit and it's got a coordinating stamp set that is also available to purchase called you are amazing so it's got um again some good birthday cards type sentiments and congratulations um, thank you. So another good set of cards and it looks like it makes 16 cards and it's got cards and envelopes in it. Um, I did not take all the pieces out yet because I have not obviously had a minute to put anything together. Um, but it comes all packaged up inside and this is probably going to get really close to the screen, but it comes packaged inside a cool box so you can put your cards together and store them inside the box. So that's very cool as well. So the completed project, if you wanted to gift it and give somebody the projects, you know, the cards, once you were all done, you can definitely do that. Um, so it's a pretty project kit and coordinating stamp set. And then the one thing that I was probably the most excited about in the entire um, pre-order that we got was Stampin' Up! has got blending brushes. If you have not used blending brushes, 
Yes, there's definitely tons to love, Jennifer. The catalog is fantastic. So if you haven't used blending brushes, you need to get these. <laughs> and if you have used them, you still need to get these because they're so awesome. Um, I, I will hold it up and try to hold it fairly still so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. But it is like a million little tiny bristles on here. And it's, you know how sponging sometimes you end up with globs and things that don't blend very well and you're kind of not not thrilled about the blending that happens with sponges, these will fix that for you. They're very easy to use and they're awesome. And like I said, I can't wait, can't wait, can't wait to start using them. So definitely very, very good. All right, so blending brushes, it's a set of three that come together in a pack. Um, then you just rinse them out and uh, let them dry and reuse them. So it's, they're, yeah. I'm excited about these <laughs> because, yeah, they make sponging so much easier and so much less of the globbing of the ink and all that sort of thing that sometimes you get when you do sponging stuff. So that is it. I know, finally, blending brushes. I agree, Krista. I, that, like I said, that was probably the thing I was the most excited to be able to pre-order. I'm like, when they showed them, I'm like, oh, and then, yeah, and then we got to pre-order them so that I was like 10 times as excited. <laughs> so, all right. So that is all the pre-order from the actual um, mini catalog. The next set of stuff that I'm going to show you is stuff for celebration. So these are the items that you will be able to get for free with a $50 order during um, from January 5th through February 28th. So they're doing celebration a little differently this year. Um, they're actually going to have two celebrations. So they're going to have one earlier in the year and one later in the year. Um, so the products earlier in the year. This is not everything that's available for celebration, um, but these are the ones that we were able to pre-order. So um, how about some darling donkeys? <laughs> so so um, yeah, they're awesome. Awesome, awesome, little, such cute little donkeys and funny little sentiments to go with them. So probably this one's my favorite one. I don't know why. I just like his face. <laughs> So, so we have donkeys, and again, this is a celebration stamp set that you'll be able to get for free with an order of $50 or greater starting on January 5th. Um, so definitely a good one, very cute, fun to color, um, fun for kids and adults both. I think you could do cards for anybody with this set. So again, it's a red rubber stamp set, and again, this is celebration. Um, the next one we have is the Corner Bouquet Cling Stamp Set from Celebration. So this one's, again, a very, very pretty image. I think it's going to make some great backgrounds. Oh, we're going to catch the rest later. Oh, no problem. To hop back in, and you can always check the replay. So, um, so yeah, the donkeys really are cute. <laughs> so we got the Corner Bouquet Stamp Set. Um, so, again, just some pretty floral images in it. I think it's going to make some really nice backgrounds with this one. And, again, it's Red Rubber Stamp Set. Um, so a good one from Celebration. And we have another beautiful sentiment set called Heal Your Heart. Um, it's got, again, I'll try to hold it a little bit still so you can take a peek at the sentiments, but this says we're in this together. Um, I can't promise to always fix your problems, but I can promise you won't ever face them alone. Sorry for your loss. Um, I don't know what I would do without you. Wishing I could heal uh, your heart and a thank you. So pretty sentiments, pretty pretty font. Uh, you know, I think this is a really really good stamp set, um, and probably one that we're we're lacking a little bit. Some kind of you know nicer things for people that are you know whatever ill anything you know having you know having not a great day. So these are some good sentiments for that. So um, all right, so there you go for that one. And the next one is called Approaching Perfection. And this is a fun little birthday stamp set. Again, it's a celebration. This is available with an order of $50 or greater for free uh, as one of your picks starting on January 5th. January 5th. So um, some fun little sentiments in here. The bad news is I forgot your birthday. The good news is I forgot your age. So that's a good one. Um, so what if you're a year older? You're fabulous. So some just some, some fun little sentiments in here. Um, Anyway, so that's a good one. Another good one. It's a, a red rubber stamp set, um, again, called Approaching Perfection uh, from Celebration. And then the final two things that we were able to pre-order are some paper packs from Celebration. This one is the Oh So Ombre 6x6 Designer Series Paper. And um, the colors in it are, uh, it says Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Granny Apple Green, Rococo Rose, and Whisper White. So this is, it's um, a pack of 48 sheets. 
but it's four different colors and designs. So this is the kind of ombre looking for the pinks. And then you flip it over and it's the ombre look for the blues on the back, which is very, very pretty. I love, you know, I love blue. So that's, this is, I love it. <laughs> and then we've got the um, Blackberry Bliss on this side. And then on the back side is the Granny Apple Green. So again, it's um, Granny Apple Green, Blackberry Bliss. And then we've got um, Bermuda Bay and Rococo Rose. So definitely a good pack of paper. It's one of those that, you know, if you need to make multiple cards that look alike, this is going to be a good pack because you get lots of sheets of the same color, which is sometimes challenging if you're making a, a big batch of cards. All right, the last thing I have to show you is another pack of Designer Series paper. And again, this is a celebration item available with orders of $50 or greater uh, starting on January 5th. This is the Flower and Field Designer Series paper, and the colors are Bumblebee, Cherry Cobbler, Flirty Flamingo, Granny Apple Green, Just Jade, Misty Moonlight, Pretty P uh, Petal Pink, I'm sorry, um, Pool Party, uh, Poppy Parade, Pumpkin Pie, Shaded Spruce, So Saffron, and Whisper White. So again, one of those, it's like almost every color in the catalog. So um, yeah, they are definitely so pretty. And I love that it's, you know, a little more muted on the backgrounds because sometimes um, well, I have trouble with some of the really, really patterned backgrounds. I don't, you know, I just struggle with those. The more muted ones I love and can use those on anything. So, all right. So this is one of the pieces of designer paper on the back side um, it's a little more neutral and I guess it's I think I've got these upside down so I think it's supposed to be like that um, and again it's a 12 by 12 pack of paper two of each design um, so it's a total of 12 sheets so this one's got th some little tiny floral images on it and then the back side has got stripes they did do a really good job. The designer papers are fantastic in this catalog. And I just, I feel like every catalog I say that, but they really are. I feel like they're just better and better good ones. So um, this is another pretty floral pattern. And then the back side, we've got um, polka dots, which I love. And we've got some daisy look flowers on here. And then the back side, you've got just some kind of greenery images. Hey, Deb, glad that you are hopping in. We're on the very last thing that I got in my pre-order, but the, the replay will be going as soon as, you know, as soon as I get done here, the replay should be able to show up and you can take a peek at everything if you want to. So, all right, so we got the floral images. And then on the back side, it's sort of the uh, herringbone look to it. It's a really pretty pack of paper. Akiko, I think, yeah, it's going to, again, one of those is going to make cards really easy to do. So love this one as kind of the floral background design on it. And then the back side has just got polka dots, which again, super easy to use and um, something that I, you know, I love. So, so that is all that I got in my awesome pre-order. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed seeing a few sneak peeks at things. And um, if you are interested, if you're not a demonstrator yet and are interested in joining, you can actually pre-order from this catalog and earn celebration products starting on December 1st. So let me know if you're interested. Um, you can always um, just be a demonstrator and just do this as something fun where you get a discount. So there's there's no requirement to sell to anybody else, which is an awesome deal. And you can get your hands on some of this products a little bit early. So drop me a note if you have any questions about it. Um, and again, uh, hope you enjoyed the seeing everything and um, I can't wait to start playing. So hopefully you all have a good rest of your day. I'll be back tomorrow, two o'clock Eastern time, my normal time um, with a project to share and um, that's all. So have a great rest of your day and we will chat soon.